But Adrian, you've got to start looking. Your new assistant is out there somewhere. God help her. My character, Natalie, she is a widow. She was married to a Navy pilot and had a little girl, and her name's Emmy. Just going through life, and then she meets Monk and becomes his assistant. Are you okay? Five. What are you doing? Measuring. It says eight feet. Stay back. You know, they, they mean approximately. No, no. It doesn't say approximately. You have to trust the label makers. They're professional label makers. Give me that. Wait a second. You're too close. Are you okay? We did it. The writers felt that it was time for Monk to kind of take that next step and not have a, a caretaker uh, necessarily with him all the time. Then that would raise some questions. Would he regress? Would he backslide a little bit? Or would he, you know, be able to face that challenge? So Natalie, Trailer's character, is an assistant and uh, a right hand and a another Dr. Watson, if you will. Mrs. Willoughby, did Martin have a life insurance policy? Maybe. Did it have a double indemnity clause, which pays double for an act of God? A lot of policies do. It's interesting just to rediscover Monk, and I'm sure for the audience, like through me, like, you know, he's just so odd. Mr. Monk, this was not my job description. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm okay. What a beautiful pancreas. The trailer is kind of giving the whole show a, a, a shot in the arm. Wow, that hurt. Oh, it's only a pillow. Well, it hurt. Sort of giving it an infusion of, uh, of energy. Miss Teeger, please stay in the vehicle. No. All right, you can stretch your legs. Just don't call any attention to yourself. Good advice coming from a guy wearing a three-piece suit in the middle of the woods. The whole show has evolved. The trailer's fantastic. She's a great addition to the cast. We look forward to kind of this uh, new part of the journey with Trailer aboard. Looks like we all had a pretty full day. Huh? You guys solved the homicide. I led those two hitmen into our trap. Yeah, that was it. Right, Randy. Brilliant. Really good. Thanks. To be perfectly honest, when I auditioned for it, I had not seen it. And I had heard about it, but um, I actually, I just remembered this. I auditioned for it when it first came out, and it just went through a lot of different people, and you know nothing happened with it. But so they gave me a couple of CDs to watch or DVDs, and I was like, it's good. I mean, you can watch it with your family, um, but it's not cheesy, and it's smart. It's just you, I think you really just get involved in the stories and get involved from his point of view, and it's just really funny. It says five dollars. Suggested donation. Considered their suggestion. I appreciate their suggestion. I decided to give less. I have a suggestion for you. Right now, everyone asks me, you know, are you having fun? And I think I'm like the annoying new person that's just having like a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Trailer has a story to tell. I'm like, it's great. <laughs> Everything's great, but he's so funny. It's really fun to work with him. I think I've been teasing Monk more than other characters. I will be right back. Stay here. Stay. Good boy. It's fun to have fun with him, but you just don't want to ever make fun of him because people wouldn't want to see that, so that's a fine line. Um, but it's, it's fun to tease him, for sure. According to his file, this is where he died. Or did he? Don't, 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 don't do that. <laughs> but you never want to be mean to him because he's just so sweet. But he is a little annoying sometimes. Wait. Oh, you know what? These are mine. I paid for them. Now I'm really into the wipes. They're around a lot. And you end up on these sets where um, they can be sort of like nasty behind the scenes. So you just, I'm really into the wipes. And I have a little, everyone's got a little OCD. I mean, I had a therapist once that told me. <laughs> I was lucky I wasn't washing my hands a hundred times a day. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to put that in. <laughs> but you can. I'm okay with it. Natalie. Hmm. This man didn't freeze to death. He was murdered. There's a puncture wound in the side of his skull. It was over 30,000 years ago. Well, there's no statute of limitations on murder. I love the writing, and I just love bouncing off him and all these guys. It's really fun. What is this? Why is he wearing a helmet? To protect his head. 
You must be so uncomfortable. Oh, he'll get used to it. I used to wear one all the time. Your parents made you wear a helmet? No. 